Today you're going to learn not only how to remove blemishes, but you can even reduce or remove freckles, you can smooth skin, a whole lot of other things with this amazing, amazing plugin. Check it out. All right, now that we're in here in Premiere, um, it's going to be preloaded under effects. Just start typing in skin. It's under the video effects and then under skin works. In this case, I have got all three. So concealer, foundation, and gloss. Concealer is you want to conceal, you know, a couple blemishes or birthmarks or maybe even an imperfection on a product, that kind of thing. So it's kind of like spot fixing. Next one down is foundation, which is uh, just like makeup. Foundation is the, the base layer of your makeup. It's just kind of like to uh, reset the whole face, so to speak. So all the skin tone will be uh, reset. And then there's gloss, and that's kind of like the final step where you want to bring out the shine in things like uh, your eyes, on the lips, maybe on the, on the cheekbone, depending on how light is hitting it. So um, it's to give that extra oomph. So let's start from concealer. This is kind of, like, you know, the first step is what I'm thinking. So I'm gonna drop that right onto the clip. I'm gonna give the computer a minute to think here. This is very, very taxing on your computer. So, you know, it's one thing to fix one frame automatically, but in a video, I mean, this is a 14 second clip. So at 30 frames a second, that's a whole lot of frames individually it's doing, plus it's tracking it with every motion. So that said, uh, this is just default. I haven't done anything with it. Um, let's take a real close look at the freckles. Let me turn it off. Turn it back on. Off. On. So it got rid of the darker freckles. And I mean, when I say the darker freckles, plural, I'm seeing at least two dozen or more that are effectively off her face. So let's take a look really close by the chin. This poor girl has no idea we're <laughs> zooming in on her face here. Um, all right, let's turn it off. Oh, I'm sorry, it was off. That's on, off, on. So that's just default. I haven't touched anything. Um, it didn't do anything else to her skin. It just did that. So let's kind of keep it uh, zoomed in a bit and let's just hit play and watch it track. So we're not seeing them pop back up. And I haven't even rendered this. This is just straight out of the, this is actually a quarter quality. The old way of doing it is you would find each particular freckle and then do the magic either in Premiere where it's gauzy and blur, which it's it's okay. Uh, in something like this, it'd be a nightmare. You'd be here all day. Um, or After Effects where it does a much better job, but again, you are tracking individual or if they're kind of clumped together, maybe you can kind of fudge it and get them all together. But this right here, if you were to do it the old fashioned way, basically without this plugin, you're looking at, oh my God, realistically hours worth of work. I just drop the plugin on and it's done. Now you can tweak this. Now let's go into the settings here. There's a couple, let's go from the bottom to the top. Obviously we can set the location. If there's two people and you only want to take the blemishes off of one person, you can of course, um, you know, put the ellipse tool around just that person's face and track it, that kind of a thing. Um, take that off. So if I bring this concealer size up, more of the freckles are gonna be disappearing. There we go. Um, bring it down a little bit. Yeah, I'm seeing some imperfections in the eyes now. And that might just be because it hasn't rendered. Concealer gain, again, it, it kind of ramps up the aggressiveness of it, so let's watch. So again, further smoothing out. Pretty much all the freckles are gone. Um, let's go to fit. Let's watch this back. Of course, the more I'm tweaking this, the more it's going to start lagging this, but. So, it, you know what? Let me render this and let's watch that back. So, yeah, see, I think I went a little bit too aggressive with that. And that's, you know, you, you want to play with this because I'm, I can't give you settings that will work the best for every single situation, depending on the lighting, the subject, the movement, um, how large the item or items are. Because right now, it's almost like a negative effect. So, like, where the freckles were, it's actually, like, a lighter color, and it kind of calls some attention to it. So, you know, we would play with that a bit to get this. Let's bring the concealer size down a little bit. And I think the gain is what's hurting us. Let's bring it back down to maybe... 200 or so. 
So I mean, already that's a huge difference. Haven't rendered it yet, but that looks a lot better. Uh, concealer offset. It will further clean up the image, in this case, the freckles. Let's bring it down to like a quarter. So that's a big difference there. There's chroma mask. So if you're used to doing things like um, secondary color adjust in the color corrector, uh, you'll be familiar with this. So chroma show mask. And this is showing the areas that are being affected by uh, the, the plugin. So you can use this to fine tune things. You can also, let's shut that off, highlight. So you can use a dropper. It's okay, a highlight on her face is right about there. And a shadow on her face based on her skin tone down here. It gives the plugin more information to do a better job. Now, after using concealer, let's take a look. I'm going to shut off the effect. So let's watch the how much work we've done on this. <laughs> Turn it back on. That's incredible. That That is incredible. Um, all right, let's turn off the concealer. Let's throw on the foundation plugin. Again, giving this a second and letting it kind of think and compile. All right, see that, that is, <laughs> that's pretty crazy. <clears throat> so that's as if she were to put on foundation, right? Now I think it's a little bit aggressive. It almost looks dreamy and a touch Photoshop, which might be the look that you're going for, but let's work on this. So I'm gonna close the concealer. Foundations open. Uh, smoothness, so that is this percentage of smooth, smoothness that we are after right now. It's at 35 by default. I personally think it's a little bit too aggressive, so let's bring it down to maybe 20-ish. So, you know, now you're still seeing freckles and things poke through, like the darkest of them. Um, but see, okay, so let's bring it up maybe a little, bring it up a touch. Okay, so that, I think that's a happy medium at the moment, so let's leave it around 29.6. Texture is how much texture on the surface of the skin. So if you bring it up, you will get more texture, which if that's what you're going for, um, which I'll get into in a minute, but if that's what you're going for, you bring it up and now you're gonna see more texture. If you bring it down, it becomes even smoother. By default, texture is set to five. So that's kind of the starting point and you can kind of play with it from there. And then texture transparency. Uh, this is just, how, again, how you know heavy duty this goes. I would leave this around zero personally for most uses. Uh, I'll bring it up to like 60 just so you see. It's more of a dreamlike effect. It certainly uh, smooths everything out, but let's bring that back down to zero. Uh, Edge Detect Chroma Mask works the same exact way as it did in the concealer. So let's turn this one off. Now, you see that the bulk in the background when I switch this on also softens, and you would use the chroma mask to go ahead and tweak it to fine tune it to make sure it's really only focusing on the subject, on the skin, and not the background. So let's turn that off. The last one is gloss. Let's drop that on. Immediately you see this, this is a much lighter plugin. So let's turn it off. Let's watch the program monitor. Off, on. It almost looks like you added a backlight to this where you, you, you increase it at least. So we're seeing a lot more light on the nose, um, on the cheek, and as well as the headphone as well. Um, but again, you can tweak this. So if you want the gloss size to be bigger, more intense, you can do that. If you think it's a little bit too harsh, bring it down. Uh, okay, uh, gloss blur. Now this is, it's a very, this is like really fine tuning it. It's how much the glow gives off. So looking very closely at it, it's set to three by default. If we're looking very closely, let's, let's bring it up to the, uh, the bridge of the nose here. All right, let's bring it up like a lot just to show you what it does. So see, it, it expanded, it's a little bit stronger of a, you know, a shine. Bring it way down. So this is, this is like minute changes. All right, so, and then brightness, of course, that's pretty self-explanatory. It's set to one by default. Um, it's just focusing on the areas of gloss. This might be helpful if you're not even planning on doing it, but just to really easily see what you've been working on. Um, but obviously you wanna bring that back on default, which is way down here. Another one I wanna show you here is uh, another application for it. This is, this is pretty exciting. All right, I'm gonna go to the effects. I'm gonna go to concealer. Take a look. He's going to get 10 years off of his life right now. So 
Let me zoom in on that a bit too. The, the crow's feet by his eyes here. Let me turn it off. So what the concealer did is it basically softened the the shadows in the wrinkles. It, it basically took the wrinkles out in some cases completely. And this tracks with them. So let me just let, let that play. All right, see how deep that is? Let me shut it off. Even worse. So every single wrinkle doesn't go away, but it is severely diminished, which is great if that's what you're going for. As well as you're seeing, uh, you know, off on, off on, there's some sunspots, especially like in his hair, that it somehow got out, which is like magic. <laughs> so uh, this is kind of going into the, you know, you want to de-age someone. This concealer will help you. And of course, go through it the same way uh, we were showing earlier to tweak as far as get a balance between getting wrinkles and, and smoothing up the skin and not going too far where it looks kind of like a dream sequence. And the same situation with the foundation. Um, the gloss, I don't know if I, would, if I would do that too much in this particular case. Now, the opposite way is also true. So let's say we want to um, make the person appear older than they are. All right, now I'll go down to foundation. I'm going to bring that on. Make sure that uh, you know, the other one is off, so that's the only uh, SkinWorks plugin that's on. And by default, of course, it gave him a layer of foundation. So let's turn it off. On, off. So it, it does help him a bit. Um, I would certainly, in this situation, I would combine that with the concealer. So let's turn it on. I'm going to take the smoothness and bring it down to zero. We don't want any smoothness. And texture, let's ramp it way up. Okay, this guy just aged an extra 30 years. <laughs> Look at all the extra texture of the skin. Okay, let's turn off the foundation. And that's how the clip looked originally with no plugins at all. Turn it back on. Big difference. Now, I think that's going a little bit too far with it. There's a little bit of uh, almost the saturation a little bit. It looks a little bit off. So I think I would bring the texture down a bit. But this is a way to de-age and age someone in addition to getting rid of blemishes and freckles, birthmarks. If you are in the beauty space or makeup space, um, if you need to, need to always make sure that your, your skin is absolutely perfect, um, or you have a lot of people in front of your camera that, you know, maybe you're not going to have hair and makeup for them on every shoot, but you want to help them out and touch them up a little bit um, in post-production, this is a very fast, easy, efficient way to do it. To achieve the same results manually without a plug-in like this, um, it would take you hours and hours. Just that one example with the freckles, that would have taken me at least three hours, I'm guessing, to do that properly. And even then, that's a lot of freckles to work on. And I literally just dropped it on and it looked good pretty much out of the gate. It took me maybe 60 seconds of futzing with it to get it working. So um, if you're going to do this a lot, I highly, this is, this is a great, great thing. I do recommend it. Um, it's not inexpensive. If you were to get the bundle, so all three, the concealer, the foundation, and the gloss uh, for Adobe Premiere and After Effects is bundled together. It's $499 for the first year and then $199 a year after that, which I, I know it's, a, it's not inexpensive, but to see what it does and how many hours it saves, I mean, how much do you bill an hour? Um, and how many hours would you save cumulatively over the year? That's how I would look at it in this case. So if you want to take the plugin for a spin, they have a free trial you can check out. The company that makes it is called Digital Big Mo. So digitalbigmo.com brings you right here. Uh, you can go to try free. Make sure you pick your language, of course. Try free. And I wanted to run you through this because the first time I did it, it, it looked a little bit sketchy. I was in direct contact with the developer, so I knew that it was legit. But um, my, my Norton antivirus kind of raised some red flags as it's a newer program so just wanted to run you through this here so try your free download pick your operating system in my case windows once you've got it it'll be right here so go ahead and double click the application okay so pop up right here this is from windows microsoft defender smart screen prevented an unrecognized app from starting running this app might put your pc at risk so your only obvious options don't run it so i'll say more info there's a little bit more information and now that you have that more information, you can say run anyway. So same deal here. Now this is my Norton freaking out. Our information on this file is inconclusive. We recommend not using this file unless you know it is safe. 
Very few users, fewer than five users, I'm one of them, <laughs> in the Norton community have used this file. It's very new. It's been released less than a week ago. So this particular one is an updated version from the one even I downloaded because I downloaded about two weeks ago. Unproven, not enough information. So you have options, stop it from running, remove it from my system, recommended, or run this program anyway. Okay, now we've got a very honestly sketchy looking <laughs> installer window. Um, I say next. Go ahead and read that if you're up for it, agree. You're now ready to install it, install. So again, don't let this screen, you know, deter you. I have reached out to the developer and said, hey, <laughs> make this look more legit because it looks really sketchy. Okay, yes. Do you want to allow the app to make changes? Yes. All right, now this is where you would paste your serial number if you have it. If you don't, just say trial, finish. And now the next time you open up either uh, Premiere or After Effects, it's going to be under Video Effects and Skin Works. So we've got Concealer, Foundation, and Gloss. So when you try it as a trial, you have it for 30 days and there will be a watermark on it as a grid. It looks terrible. I mean, you can't actually, actually use this for anything, but you can see, okay, yeah, for my purposes, it's doing what I need it to do. It's powerful enough. Let's go ahead and invest in it. Now, I was not... Hey, this is not a sponsored thing. Uh, the company behind Skinworks is not uh, compensating me to do this. They did give me access to use the, the plugin for the purpose of a video um, and just give my honest thoughts. I was given really no direction. Just here you go, check it out. And and I, I love it. I think it's fantastic and it has applications well beyond uh, just getting, getting blemishes away. And you could also de-age someone or age someone. So that's pretty cool. So I hope you found this helpful. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on it as far as pricing and capabilities and what you might use it for. I'd love to hear and I'll see you in the next one.